My favorite place to look for designer jewelry is Luxury Bazaar. They carry unique statement pieces that elevate your look with both new and vintage designs at a fraction of the cost. Thank you to Luxury Bazaar for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out their website linked down below. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I don't have a stitch of makeup on my face, so I'm standing in front of the Christmas tree as a distraction. Today I am getting ready for our first holiday party of this season. It's actually a very busy weekend for us. Tonight we have my husband's office holiday party. Tomorrow morning we're going to the English Premier League Fan Fest down on South Beach. We're gonna cheer on Chelsea. I'm so excited, it's going to be an early morning. And then tomorrow night, a girlfriend of mine is having her annual holiday dinner party and then on Sunday we have a baby shower. So a lot of great fun activities, but it's going to be a marathon. And I wanted to film a get ready with me style video, show you the makeup that I'm going to wear tonight. And I figured why not just take you along with me and show you the entire getting ready process. I woke up bright and early this morning. I had my usual breakfast. I did a very quick workout, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weights. And then my first stop was the hair salon. The great thing about getting a blowout at the beginning of the weekend is that usually it will last a couple days. I can make my blowouts last an entire week, so I should be able to keep this hair pretty nice through all of our events this weekend. Because of the heat and humidity, it fell. I'll probably have to touch up a couple of the curls, but it's such a treat getting your hair blown out that I don't even care that it fell immediately. That's Miami for you, I can't complain. I just made it home from all of my appointments. I got my nails done, which is very exciting. I decided to go with the sparkly color. It's sort of like a silverish gold shimmer. Always such a treat because it's very rare. And then I knew I wouldn't have time for lunch and it's gonna be a long night, so I went to Publix and I grabbed a wrap. One of the best parts about living close to a public so that I could have something to eat while I lay out all of my things, I'm gonna get everything ready. Please don't judge my messy vanity, but I wanted to show you quickly because I sunless tan earlier this week and I used my loving tan in the shade dark. My extra dark is running really low and I didn't wanna take the chance that I could only do one leg. So I went ahead and used my dark mousse. I did this probably two days ago now and then I have been using their gradual tanner lotion as my body lotion so that helps to maintain and moisturize the skin and then I'm also going to go in with my bronze shimmer from Loving Tan. This is amazing. It gives a beautiful bronze glow to the skin and has a lot of shimmer which is really pretty and then I will also probably use my Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I have a backup to my backup. I always get the jumbo size during Nordstrom anniversary sale. I recently started taking these vitamins again. These are from Hum and these were sent to me complimentary to review but I have been using these hair gummies for what feels like at least a year. I know it's been a really long time. I hadn't been taking them for probably the past couple months but I went through probably three or four bottles of this. You can get it at Nordstrom so it's really easy and this has great stuff for your hair, for your nails. It has the biotin, folic acid, B12, zinc, and then the PABA, the P-A-B-A, -A, is supposed to help with stress-induced gray hairs. So not gray hairs from age, but I guess if they're stress-induced, this helps restore the color back to the hair. And I have really weak nails, so I'm excited to be going back to this. I really should never have stopped. And the flavor is amazing. And then I also have this glow. So this is with hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E, great stuff for your skin. I mean, it's just gonna help boost anything else that you put on top with the hyaluronic acid. It just helps your skin to look fresh, hydrated, and nice and glowy. Since I'm about to have lunch, I'm gonna take those. And then I'm also taking the Flatter Me. This is again, before your two main meals. So I take this in the morning and then with lunch. These I had never tried before, so these were also sent to me complimentary from home and I didn't have any previous experience with them. So this is supposed to help your body 
digest the food naturally. So the flatter meat is formulated to optimize protein, carb, fiber, and fat breakdown to help with nutrient absorption and relief from indigestion and bloating. So definitely this is a great supplement to have for holiday parties when you're eating crazy food, you're staying out late, you're eating later than you usually do. I started at 7.30 this morning. I thought I had plenty of time to get ready and yet I'm still rushed to eat this lunch. It's so good though. I love Publix. The time has finally come to begin my makeup, so I'm sitting here at my vanity. I've never done this setup before, but this is gonna make it a lot easier for me to actually do my makeup in real time. So I'm going to begin with the first step that I would actually do if I were going to a big event, which I am later this evening in a couple of hours, and that's dermaplaning. It helps to exfoliate the skin. It gets rid of any dull, dead skin cells, but what it does for makeup is really incredible. Because you have this smooth surface, your primer, your foundation, everything just glides on the skin so much better. So this is something that I'll do once or twice a month, really whenever I feel inspired and I have something that I really wanna look and feel my best for. So for the holidays, a big holiday party weekend, this is where I would begin. And I'm going to show you how I do it. If you have any questions or you'd like to see more of an in-depth video, drop me a comment. I'm happy to film that for you. But if you go to a dermatologist's office, if you get any sort of facial, they do this step first because the hair really does kind of inhibit all of your topical products from penetrating deeper into the skin. So it's better for your skincare as well. The razor that I'm using comes in a three pack. I get these on Amazon for maybe five dollars amazon prime so i usually get a couple of them you can reuse the blade a couple times but i generally throw them out after a few uses you can tell i mean the blade will get dull you can clean them with alcohol and they're fine for best results you want to hold the skin sort of taut and then go at a 45 degree angle they also sell the derma flash in department stores. Nordstrom carries it. It's a lot more expensive than a cheapy little blade like this, but it's pretty foolproof. With those, you have to use a new blade every single time. I haven't noticed any additional hair. The hair isn't any thicker, any darker, and my makeup looks so much better when I have a perfectly smooth canvas. It already feels so much smoother. And you can see, I mean, there's a, a ton of hair that comes off. You can't see the hair when it's on your face, but when you shave it off and you see the little fuzzies fly away, wow, what a difference it makes. And can you see that? <laughs> Especially along this area of the jaw, the hairs get so long. It's actually kind of funny. I really only do a little bit on my forehead. I don't get anywhere near my hairline or my brows. The hair on my forehead just doesn't really bother me. It is nice for additional exfoliation though. I will sometimes get a little bit of texture on my forehead. The lip is another area that you have to be very careful, but I will say another benefit about doing this area is that it helps prevent bleeding with your lipstick. Sometimes these little hairs the lipstick can catch on them and it ends up I can see the little hairs creating an uneven line around my lips. So smoothing this out and getting rid of all of that peach fuzz helps make a really nice crisp lip line as well. I just applied my moisturizer and my eye cream and I'm gonna go in now with this Patchology Eye Gel. And this is going to help catch the eyeshadow. I have a lot of products laid out in front of me and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do just yet. So for the sake of time, I will link every product, every brush that I use to create my makeup look down below in the description box. And I'm just gonna play and get ready. 
I can tell you right off the bat though, I am starting with the Clé de Peau Corrector Pen. I have loved this concealer. I do have a couple products that I'm going to talk about. This is a new one. This is the Dior Show Liquid Mono. This is one of the liquid eyeshadows that came out with their holiday collection. They didn't have these in stock whenever I purchased all the pieces I decided to get. And I did not like the ones that they came out with for fall at all. So I kind of had wrote them off. I didn't think I would be interested. And then I heard so many people rave about them and talk about how amazing they are. And when I went in the other day, they had it. And I thought, well, I have some holiday looks. This is perfect. And now that I know that Chanel is coming out with liquid eyeshadows for spring, I wanted to have something like this to compare. So this is the Dior Liquid Shadow in 650. It's the copper. Mmm, it's so pretty. It's this beautiful rose gold. So stunning. Oh my gosh. What's amazing to me is how the Dior liquid eyeshadow puts the Celestial palette of Pops to shame when it comes to sparkle and glitter. I thought these were intense and give, really give the true pop, but this, I mean, wow. Very sparkly. <laughs> In the viewfinder, it does not look very sparkly. I will show you in better light. Now I'm going in with my By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum in the shade Rose Elixir. This is so beautiful. I've used this before as just a primer, and I am going to use it as a primer, and then I'm also going to mix in just a little bit with my foundation. So I'm just going to use my foundation brush. This is the Refer P24 and I really like to put this in the center of the face and blend out. What I love about this is that it doesn't feel oily or greasy. It just has like a natural skin finish but it has such a beautiful sheen and that rosy glow is nice. It gives your skin this healthy boost it's not too pink, it's not too light even. I'm gonna use just a little bit more. And again, I'm concentrating in the center and then blending out. <laughs> That's the key. For foundation, and I was torn about what foundation to use, but I am gonna use Air Flash. 
whenever I'm torn or whenever I'm not sure, this is going to be my go-to. I was between this and then maybe the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. There were a couple others that I was contemplating using. But I feel like I know I always love the look of Dior Air Flash. So I might as well stay safe. think I need to mix any in. The Dior Air Flash laying on top of the By Terry CC Serum looks really nice. And this refer brush has become one of my favorite foundation brushes. I actually don't even use my Marc Jacobs brush anymore. Ever since I started using this, it's all I use. And it's natural hair, so it picks up any excess product. And I suppose I really like the shape as well. It's kind of big and fluffy yet dense. But the oval is nice because you can get in little areas, little nooks and crannies around the nose and the eyes. And what a difference it makes that I did the dermaplaning beforehand. I have one giant hair on my face, but that's from the makeup brush. My skin looks so poreless and smooth. Going in with my new Clay de Peau concealer pen. Hey, babe! I left at 424. It's 524. Uh-huh. Back in an hour. You did More it. spray on suit. Nice. You bought a whole suit. For 120, 120 top man. Oh, um, nice. It's gray. Yep. It's a gamble. <laughs> and I probably won't be able to eat okay. tonight because if I eat even just one carb, I may pop the button. <laughs> hmm. Come on, Jess. Right, I'm getting ready. Okay, me, are you me still too. On time? Yes. What time are we trying to leave? Six. What time are we trying to leave? Six. Six. Okay. So maybe like six fifteen. Six. six. Definitely six. Six. Ideally, want to leave. Okay. Um. And you're wearing a grey dress, right? Silver? Yeah, it's silver. It's silver kind of like and silver and gold. Perfect. Perfect. It'll be beautiful. Oh my god. Blend! Blend! <laughs> my husband acts like he gets ready really fast. And he does it. So we'll see who can finish early. Now it's a race against time, but also a race against him. Because if I can beat him for once, <laughs> I mean, it's not a competition, but it is a competition, you know? I love this blush. One of my favorite blushes ever. For highlight, I'm gonna use this Beyond Powder from Illamasqua. I got this in an advent calendar from the Beauty Expert. And oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful. I have not used this yet. It's this gorgeous champagne gold. It looks so stunning. It reminds me of the Hourglass Baked Powders. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's the little things in life. <gasps> Ooh. That is so pretty. <gasps> yes. It's gorgeous.
I have a new brow product. This is the Nourish and Define Brow Pencil from Plume. This just arrived today. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh no, it'll be fine. So I have to say I'm nervous to start a new product since I'm rushed for time at this point. But let's go ahead and try this. This looks really nice. It's very sleek and chic. Love the packaging. I love it so far. Plume is a great brand. I believe they're still based in Canada and they have a brow pomade that has growth serum in it. It basically has nutrients to help your brows grow. They also do have a lash and brow serum and all of their brow products contain the same serum. I'm using the shade Chestnut Decadence. That sounds delicious. Okay, for lipstick, I'm going to use my House of Siage. This is the red bow case that comes with two refills. They have a great set right now. It's only $228, and you get the set Baron, I believe, which is the really pretty light pink, and then Queen, which is a gorgeous blue-based red. I'm going to go in with Queen. This is one of my favorite reds. Since it is red, I am going to line my lips first. getting excited this lipstick just puts me in the holiday spirit and this is one of the best reds because it's not just blue based it's almost like a raspberry red which is my personal favorite type of red and now my lip line is nice and smooth I got rid of all that peach fuzz perfect I'm going to top that off with something I have this lipstick here from Givenchy. This was sent to me complimentary to review and it comes in this gorgeous, dark, almost like a black sparkly case with little colors in there. It's gorgeous for the holidays as well. It's a little bit too dark by itself, but I think it might look pretty over this red. Let's see. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. It just makes it a little bit deeper, a little bit more of a darker red. I had a lipstick from Marc Jacobs that was this shade and I wore it every single day to work for a long time and then I used it up and there was, I have not been able to find any shade of all of the reds and any brand that was identical to this Marc Jacobs and of course they don't make it anymore. I love this. I love all of the Givenchy lipsticks but I wasn't sure how I was gonna get use out of this one. This is Night in Red 02. It's the La Rouge Night Noir. Next I'm gonna pop on these Charlotte Tilbury lashes. These are the red carpet lashes. <laughs> it looks like a bomb went off on this vanity. Very last step, Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Have to have it. <sighs> I 
I guess the very last step is to pack on additional bronzer. <laughs> in a while. All right. Well, that was an easy choice. I got these. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember when I got these. Oh, yes. They're so much fun. Perfect. Still a little disappointed that the earrings I ordered didn't arrive in time, but that is life. And of course, ordering anything during the holidays is always a gamble. <laughs> they aren't a great match, but they are the most comfortable shoes that somewhat go with the dress. So I'm going to wear these white shimmering shoes. I'm going to take my gold envelope clutch. Yeah, I am. All right. That's the call, so we are about to head out the door. I just sprayed my fragrance. I put all of my stuff in my clutch, threw on my shoes, hair's done, earrings, make up the works. I feel really excited about tonight, and thank you so much for hanging out with me and seeing what the entire get ready process is like. I actually remember I have one last thing to do. I'm gonna throw some shimmering bronzer on my legs real quick, and then I'm gonna head out the door. That completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. As always, I will be linking all of the products mentioned. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.